Hey guys, Dr. Aaron Ernst here. Hey listen, today I want to come to you with a very important topic, mostly because you guys are asking me a lot of questions about headaches. I don't know if it's because of the recent time change or the fact that we're getting into the later half of fall with barometric pressures changing, but right now apparently a lot of you are getting headaches. So I want to give you my top five sort of headache tips. First of all, once you recognize headaches are very common and even healthy people deal with headaches at some point in their life. It's estimated that 37 million Americans deal with headaches on a regular basis and approximately 2 million people get what are known as chronic headaches, which would be between 12 or 13 headaches on a monthly basis. So of course, we never want you to have a headache, so what are some things we could do naturally instead of aspirin, Advil, Tylenol, Motrin, goodies, powders, etc. The first thing I want you to understand is as early as the 1990s we discovered that if your brain is deficient in magnesium, it is often a trigger that activates a lot of people's headaches. So obviously if we start to take more magnesium, we can get that nutrient into the brain and we can calm the, the vessels of the brain down, we can open the arteries and let more blood flow into it. On average, if you're taking magnesium, about 250 milligrams is a decent dose and take it at night because it also helps you to sleep. Secondly, of course, I want you to realize, of course, your hydration is vital for your fluids and the balance of fluids within your brain and your body. Specifically with headaches, what happens is we start to dehydrate the cerebral spinal fluid and the brain starts to expand. And that subtle movement of the brain can, of course, create a headache. So don't forget that when you're drinking water, we want to put some sort of minerals in it or an electrolytic salt like Himalayan salt or something to that effect because then we can hydrate and also push the great minerals in because again mineral imbalance also can create headaches. Thirdly, and this is kind of just a fun little thing that you can use instead of some sort of aspirin or Advil or Motrin is peppermint oil blended with lavender oil as an essential oil and rubbed onto the temples, onto the back of the neck. It actually is an anxiety reliever. It helps with nausea. It helps with smooth muscles to relax. It also helps to increase blood flow to the area. And so if we increase the flow and we decrease the muscle tension and stress, it can help with headaches. Detoxification is absolutely essential because sometimes headaches come from toxins flowing through your bloodstream. So you got to remember that there's a blood-brain barrier that's supposed to protect your brain from certain toxins, but various things can cross that. And so if we do a level of detoxification, you can pull the, the toxins out of the blood. But a really neat little detox bath that can help you with headaches is to take Epsom salts, which by the way is a magnesium salt, put lavender oil into the water, and then soak in that hot bath for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Again, you're absorbing the magnesium through the Epsom salts. You're letting the lavender sort of soothe and detox the body, and it helps with headaches. And finally, of course, you know, with what we do, getting chiropractic care is absolutely essential to make sure that you've got the proper spinal position, no, no restrictions in movement, the good curve to the neck for blood flow to the head. And believe it or not, there are a lot of people who have come in with an, a headache we do a special upper cervical release adjustment to the back of the skull and the first bone in the neck and instantly the headache clears. If you think about it, if you restrict the, the vagal nerve or you have compression to your brain stem, of course we can create what's known as a headache reaction. So hopefully you find these five tips helpful. You know, nobody wants to have a headache and we want you guys to be happy and to be healthy and to be excited during this holiday season. Thanks so much for watching.